Konnichiwa. Right on schedule. Okay, banditos, here's the build. This is a headshot skill damage hybrid, and it's amazing because it has chain killing capabilities with very strong skills. Now what's really cool is that even if both your skills are not available for whatever reason, it doesn't matter because this build is so strong, you're still one shot, one killing enemies without the skills. So the skills are a big bonus. So basically what we're doing is we're balancing out the build. We're taking some of that excess damage that's on sniper builds. Sniper builds or MMR builds are very overpowered in this game. There's excess damage. A Nemesis build, for example, you get 60 million on a headshot kill without any other weird things like the Achilles Pulse and stuff like that. 60 million so there is no enemy on heroic content that can take 60 million so we're taking that excess damage which is basically evaporating in the air it's unused so it looks great to have those damage numbers but it's waste and so we're taking that waste and we're transforming it into something useful and what we're doing is transforming it into powered up skills sort of makes you a one-man army So it starts with Sharpshooter, make sure you run that because you're going to need the additional weapon handling that comes off of that specialization. It's also giving you the digital scope and additional headshot damage. I recommend running the White Death because that's giving us 137% headshot damage. And since we're running three skill tiers, you're going to need whatever you can to lift your weapon damage output. The damage to targets out of cover is really helpful here. And then I'm running Future Perfect. I'm not a big fan of Future Perfect, but on a sniper build, it makes a lot of sense. And that's because our MMRs are usually very overpowered. Most of these builds are overpowered overpowered so having something like future perfect isn't going to take away your one shot capabilities as long as you have everything in check on the rest of your build so future perfect is going to give us one skill tier for 15 seconds stacking up to three times that means if you want six tier skills you're going to need to have three skill tiers on the build which we do and then we'll be kicking an overcharge once every 90 seconds okay the perfect version of future perfect gives you a longer duration on those skill tiers you earn but the scalpel is not as strong as the white death the white death makes change killing a lot easier and because it only takes one bullet to take a kill and we're running the chain killer chest piece it's very easy to maintain the skill tiers and to kick in that overcharge every 90 seconds so i actually recommend the white death with this configuration over the scalpel now i'm running that digital scope which is giving us 45 percent headshot damage that's helping a lot as well as the accuracy and then i got reload speed on this thing so looking at the chest we're running walker and harris the named one chain killer that's giving us perfect headhunter so this is giving us 1,250% of our killing blow. This is what's giving us that one shot capability. Do not pass this up. I have weapon damage, skill damage, and headshot damage. This Eclipse protocol build is absolutely amazing. I made it in the build lab on Twitch where all my builds are made and tested live with the community in unedited gameplay. Shout out to all the banditos and Texas Players Club for supporting the channel and the Division 2 community in all the ways that you do. To say thank you, I create extra builds like this one for Texas Players Club. Players Club as member perks. If you're not part of Texas Players Club, it's time you join this strong, positive community. Link here in the corner and in the description area below. My knee pads are my second piece of walker, giving us 5% damage to armor. We got weapon damage, skill damage, and headshot damage. I decided to go with the contractor's gloves for that 8% damage to armor, and I have headshot damage with weapon damage. Now my mask is my first piece of Araldi, which is giving me 10% marksman rifle damage. I have skill tier, headshot damage, weapon handling, and headshot damage. The holster is my second piece of Araldi, which is giving me another 15% headshot damage. I have a skill tier, headshot damage, and skill damage. So the battery pack, the named Empress international backpack is a pretty unique backpack to be running on a sniper build it comes with perfectly calculated which shaves 15 percent off the cooldowns for every kill i have skill haste and headshot damage on this with the skill tier so we now have three skill tiers on the build which is perfect for future perfect which is adding another three skill tiers plus overcharge so here's the synergy the chest piece is allowing us to chain kill multiple enemies in a row 
the weapon talent is giving us skill tiers every time we do and throwing us into overcharge while we're doing that we're cutting down the cooldowns from those seekers so that we have maximum uptime on that skill so for the stats i think the only thing that's really going to matter here is our headshot damage which is at 317 percent as i mentioned earlier this build was originally designed for reanimated this is what that version looks like because reanimated buffs your headshot so much i was able to add on more power to the skills for reanimated so if you want to run this for reanimated i recommend doing this setup instead which is a three-piece empress so you're making your skills a lot stronger for reanimated but reanimated is ending on tuesday and so i wanted to give you something that goes beyond the event so this is how you should run it have fun banditos this is a really good build don't sleep on it Follow me.